Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care. Happy, happy, happy. What's today? Tuesday. Oh, sorry about that. Happy Tuesday, man. Um, beautiful day. Uh, so what we've been up to? Nothing. Um, I just took a break. Um, and right now I'm at uh, my dealer, Andy Lawns and Machinery. I have a slight leak on the left uh, rear wheel of my Vantage 36. So what I did is, uh, it's not a bad leak. So I bought some, uh, some fluid, hydro fluid to put in there and keep it up to, uh, to standards and just kind of monitor it. And I'm driving while I'm talking to you, I do apologize. So, you know, try to keep uh, monitoring it and uh, just to make sure it doesn't go below a certain standard. And uh, and I have my my mower on a list, repair list, as of right now, because they don't have any loaners for uh, the 36. And I don't want to push mow. <laughs> I don't want to push mow. Even though, you know, I don't have a lot to push mow, I just, I just don't those days are kind of over you know I have a set amount of customers that we push more and that's that's all I want to do so uh, yeah so the fluid is just to ensure that it stays to standards and uh, whenever my mower comes up on a list to repair then the young lady Amy she will give me a buzz the day prior and I just take the mower there drop it off they'll take a look at it repair it and then you know it, it minimizes me from having to do without the mower for a long period of time and uh, so it's not that bad and I spoke to a mechanic he took a quick look at it he was like yeah you can just keep the fluid up and you know until we check it out because sometimes it's usually something that is loose in the back there or whatever the case might be no biggie life goes on right hey you got to do what you got to do to make things happen so what we're doing today is uh the same old same old we're mowing we are mowing grass guys that's what we're doing so i have uh q and my new guy uh just doing their thing and i'm gonna go with them today just to check up you know you have to check on your people guys you can't just send a crew and just let them be out there now they are slow they are slow Q and I, uh, we knock them out real fast. But again, that's because of my experience. But you know, with the new guy, he's extremely, extremely slow. And again, like I told you, he's never actually uh, mowed anything in his life. So um, we're gonna we get him get him up to speed. But I'm gonna ride with them today and probably tomorrow. So what I've been doing is uh, just kind of mainly looking at other tasks and things that I'm doing. You know, um, I went out to a commercial property yesterday. And do, you know, did a couple of uh, shrubs. Man, I've been doing so many freaking shrubs, guys. And I know I'm talking a lot, but I've been doing a lot of freaking shrubs to the point where I'm, man, I'm shrubbed out. I promise you, I'm shrubbed out, man. Whew. Shoulders are killing me, and I still have one, two, three more shrub jobs. Yeah, man, that time of the year, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, gentlemen and ladies, let's, uh, Continue on with some mowing here. Once I, uh, matter of fact, I'm parked over here at this one specific location, and they're gonna stop by and just pick me up. And I'm gonna kind of ride with them for a few, do a couple of jobs, just to see exactly where the new guy is. And then, um, you know, by the time we finish in one particular area and come back to this area, I just jump in my vehicle and keep it moving, right? But again, like I said, if you have a crew, you know, standards do not change, guys. So, with, with Q, I have no issues. He's been with me for five years. Uh, but, um, you know, a new a new person will definitely take a toll on uh, your performance and, and your time, right? And it's all about time. Right now, oh, so you know, right now I'm painting by the, uh, by the hour. But um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to put him on salary here. Um, so it, it'll benefit both of us because right now he is so slow that, you know, I'm, I'm losing money. I'm losing money um, because he's, he's, he's sucking me. He's sucking me dry because he's so slow. So I'm going to put him on a salary. Um, and again, 
we both sit down and we come up with a set figure uh an initial salary and you know and and we will talk about his performance and we will talk about what he needs to do in order to make more money right makes sense because like, like i said before guys i am extremely extremely um <clears throat> honest with my guys i don't i don't i don't sit up and and, and do all kind of crazy stuff you know i'll tell you straight up i'm over here I'll, I'll tell you straight up what i'm doing and how we're doing it right all right guys see you in a few all right guys this is the first one for the day and it's a little bit uh it grew a little bit faster than i was expecting but um it looks pretty good uh, a couple of weeks ago we were complaining about no rain now we're getting a lot of rain but guess what i'm not complaining any guys let me tell you this is good i'd rather have a whole bunch of wet lawns than have dried lawns that are not even growing right <laughs> all right let's move on to the next You forgot that little piece? All right, all the way in the back. So we're looking good. This is centipede 2.25. Two point two five. But you had a two. Hmm. There you go. Number is in the back and I'm heading over with the mower that we're mowing at 2.75. So this is the first one here, and then we also did this one over here, front and back. 
So we're finishing up right now and the new guy is blowing. Now I know you guys trying to ask, you know, who is this new guy? I'm not gonna tell you. You know why? Because I don't want you to get used to him. And if he doesn't work out, then you're gonna be asking him for him by his name. So once he's uh, once he's hired, then you'll know his name. So in a comment, don't ask me what his what his name is. Okay. <laughs> I know, guys. You're like, yo, who's this new guy? Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna show you until we hire him. This is uh, his second week. Yeah. We're gonna, we keep trying him out. We're gonna try him out next week. It's a telltale. We're gonna see if he stays or if he goes. Right now, all he has to do is uh, pick up the pace just a little bit. I'm about being efficient, guys. It doesn't take eight hours to mow 10 lawns. You know what I mean? Especially with two guys. So he need to pick up the pace. That's what I'm here for today to make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to and he get familiarized with these uh, with these properties because again Q knows what to do but um, I'm 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 more proficient uh, efficient at, at what we do so I'm gonna just you know kind of do a little bit of a targeting here so we'll see all right let's keep moving to the next one another one down this is our alligator let me see if I can show you is he around see that danger where is he at where is he at I don't see him oh well he's around here somewhere and you see we only go until right there we don't go past that should be in here somewhere all right Got the key? All right, so here's another one. Centipede, mode at 2.5 inches. <clears throat> and uh, I did the front. And the new guy blew. He blew it off and uh, he's in the back, finishing up the back. Just blowing and questions in the back, um, doing his thing. Hey, got a quick question for you. I get a lot of comments saying you guys be saying that, um, hey, man, they need to fertilize that lawn. Your customers need to water lawns. Man, that grass looks like it's dying. Don't they have an irrigation system? <laughs> so my question to you is, do you drop your customers if they don't water their lawns? Do you drop your customers if they don't fertilize or if they don't, um, you know, maintain the grass? All they want you to do is to cut it and now and then come and trim their bushes and stuff like that. Do you drop your customers? Hmm? It might seem like a silly question, but the only reason I'm asking is because a lot of you guys, and I know, I know, it's just, it's just a comment, guys. Don't take it personal. But a lot of you guys, you know, make that comment. And the reality of things is that when you are hired to mow or trim the bushes, you're not hired to criticize a customer's lawn. You know what I mean? Your job is to ensure that you can do the best job possible to make that customer happy. You know? Keep in mind that all my customers know what we do and they know exactly how we do it. So, um, always keep that in mind, uh, you know, before you make your comments. Um, if I was you and I want to get into the lawn care business or if I want to see, you know, how we do it, look at the techniques. You know, I'm not the, uh, the, the best. We're not the, 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 the masters, but, you know, there's something that you can learn. That's what I do. I watch some of you guys' videos, not because of the content. Um, I watch because I want to learn, you know, see if I, I'm going to learn something new. Because, you know, a lot of video topics are, you know, like, like we all do, you know, it's, it's YouTube. You got to make it, you know, a little bit more, uh, more enticing to click on it. And I understand, but you know, some of these, some of these 
comments. Oh well, it, it is what it is. Um, remember, guys, learn technique. Okay, you're not there. I, and again, you know, you, you you write what you want to. It's no big deal. But you know, learn learn the techniques, and uh, something that you may learn from it. You know, don't don't criticize the property. Hell, you know, at the end of the day, all we are, uh, all we do is maintain it. On to the next. All right, this is another one we just finished. No, no, no. This is all centipede grass, and this patch right here is Bermuda. That's why it looks scalp, because everything is mowed at three inches, but then the Bermuda has lumps and humps right there. But it'll grow back in. Let's see if you guys blow that shit inside the garage. Because we showed him. Okay. We did teach him what to do. Even though he's quite not doing it the way I showed him, but at least he's not blowing it in there. We don't maintain, we're not being paid to maintain that. Even though we did suggest it, they're gonna do it themselves. As you can tell, this is what we do, only the grass area. And apparently they, they're spraying, somebody sprayed. And they sprayed all the grass in there. And look, 
They even got a uh, spray all over the grass over here. But again, we only pay it to mow the grass. Even though we did suggest, but you know, hey, to each his own. Here as well, they sprayed it. And you see? But no big deal, no big deal. It'll grow back within a week, hopefully. My man Q, he probably got the headphones in. Yeah. How many hours it takes to put this <laughs> the blower up? Hey, I told him I wasn't gonna tell him your name yet until until you become. No, no, no! Don't 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 show them! Don't show them yet! Don't show them who you are yet! Not yet! Not yet! Have them guessing. This this way they they try they can try to guess all they want to. Is this Snoop Dogg's son? <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Q. Look at Q. Q. Good job, man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Without you, there's no blades of grass. Huh? I still got who? The new guy? Yeah. No, I ain't got the new guy yet. You. You are blaze of grass. As a matter of fact, you know what? As of tomorrow, this is this is you. This is you. No more me. Getting them done, gentlemen and ladies. Getting them done. Getting them done. Ah, look at that. Oops. There you go. Huh? Nice subdivision home, right? That's what I'm talking about. So, on average, guys. Um, and again, we we have all our properties consolidated, guys. So, this is the only reason I'm telling you. We're knocking out right now. Is um, close to 12 o'clock. I think it is. Either about 11.45 ish, right? And uh, it took us uh, about 12 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes to do this property. And on average, we're knocking out about 11, 12. Yeah, in half a day. So, you know, and that's with the new guy, and that's three guys. But, um, Quest and myself, you know, we kind of do the same amount. And, and, th and this is where you as the uh, as the owner need to kind of you know have have a little bit a little bit of patience um and, and it's hard i mean i'm telling you guys but it's hard for me to do as well um the, the 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 new guy is here every day he's here on time he's willing to learn he's not complaining and he's uh you know he's he's learning he's learning slow but he's learning and that's what counts um, you can have guys that work great for you guys and, and jokers don't show up or they show up whenever the hell they want to. So I'm giving this kid a chance and um, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll take as much time as it needs um, and, and, and he's going to go out there and do great and wonderful things. So today I came out here to see exactly, you know, what they're doing, all that good stuff. The only thing that I will say that he needs to pick up more is um, just 
knowing the sequence, knowing the sequence, remembering the sequence. At every home, we're doing the same thing. Now, with me being here, is a little bit different, so it's kind of throwing him off. But um, he's a good kid, and 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 we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and keep working with him, and and things are going right. Um, all he's got to learn is the balance of when him and and Q are alone. What is the sequence? What is the sequence? What is the sequence? You know what I mean? Not just standing and watch him, but you know, pick up the string trimmer, go in the back and start hitting the back fence and stuff like that. All right? All right, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. But guys, stay motivated. It's hot. That's fine. But keep in mind, you are controlling your own destiny. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do this. You have to be a self-sufficient, a self-motivator. A, 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 a person with some drive get out there and do it you know what I mean it can be done guys on average you do 10 yards a day 10 $40 yards a day that's $400 right hey man $400 in one day or you know 35 again you know it depends a $35 yard 10 of those $350 um, even if you do $30 your lawns, do 10 of those, that's $300, you know, guys, and, and you do these things, you do these lawns whenever you want to, whatever time you want to, nobody's rushing you, you are your own boss. It sounds easy, it's a little bit tough at the beginning, push yourself, stay motivated because it'll come a time when you're going to have so much work that you're not going to be taking it on, and that's when... You start bringing up your prices, and, and you're known, and, and things start to feel real, real, real good. All right? All right, guys. Have a great one. Pop smoke. Peace. Pop smoke. <laughs>